Have you heard of this statement, Jupiter blesses everyone, wherever he sees, wherever he sits, whichever planet he is conjunct with? But the question is, how does he exactly do it? <laughs> they say if Jupiter is in the first house, a thousand doshas are nullified. But how does he actually do it? Or does he even do it? Or is it just an exaggeration? Or is it like, or does he do it more? But nonetheless, even if he does it, what does it exactly mean that Jupiter blesses the chart? Or blesses a house or blesses a planet. What does it exactly mean? Now, what I have seen over the last 20 years of my journey in astrology, people interpret Jupiter in a very wrong way. They interpret Jupiter as a planet which takes away problems. Certainly not. <laughs> so, which means people think, Oh, uh, Jupiter is in uh, this particular house. So, <clears throat> like say, he's in the 10th house. So, it means people have this inherent belief. Oh, that means I will never have problems in career. Why? Because Guru is in the 10th house and Guru is blessing my profession house, right? Guru is in the ascendant. That means my whole life is free of problems, right? Do you have Jupiter in the first house or do you know anybody with Guru in the first and do you think that their life is free of problems? <laughs> Write it down in the comments. If you have seen that Guru is in a particular house and uh, the person is not free of problems from that house, okay, please write it down in the comments. I would love to see and uh, learn from you and your experience. And then others can also see. Okay, so then the question is, how does Jupiter protect? How does he bless? Well, to understand this, you have to first understand what is Jupiter. Otherwise, you will not understand how does he bless a house, okay? So, first of all, Jupiter's presence in a house is not a guarantee of not having problems in that house. Please throw that out of your head, okay? Just as presence of Saturn Rahu Ketu in a house is not a guarantee for problems. Similarly, presence of Jupiter is not a guarantee for not having problems in that house. Very interesting, right? But still he is Guru, still he is Jupiter, still he is Brihaspati, still he is the most benefic, still he is the heaviest planet. Then how does he bless? Well, Jupiter blesses in different ways. One of the ways that he blesses is by giving good wisdom related to that problem, related to that house. Which means, if you have Guru in a particular house, or Guru is aspecting, or he is conjunct, in all the three scenarios, suppose there is a problem. Suppose Jupiter is aspecting your seventh house of marriage. What does this mean? It means that Suppose your sixth lord, sixth lord is badly placed in the seventh or the seventh lord is badly placed somewhere. That means you have problems in your marriage. Let's assume and your Venus is badly placed. But now Jupiter is aspecting the seventh house. What happens? People will think, oh, Jupiter is aspecting. So he will reduce the problems. You know, no, he doesn't. But he will give you good guidance. But the question is, how does he give good guidance? Well, this means that Jupiter will give you guidance through some guru, counselor, guide or through some senior. Okay. Jupiter can give guidance in three ways primarily. One is externally. Externally which means <clears throat> you get guidance from somebody who is more experienced and knowledgeable than you in that area of life. So then you get very good guidance. And you know how to navigate, okay? You know how to ignore uh, the plus and minus of life in that particular area. The other way he guides is through the Paramatma. He gives good intuition. He gives power, power to understand things. He gives the power to understand people. He gives the power to accept the things that you cannot change about something in your life. 
so if your person has a bad marriage bad combinations for marriage bad dashas for marriage but a jupiter aspecting the seventh so either he will make peace with it or he will get some good marriage counselor to help him navigate through the marriage even if the person is divorced it will happen in a graceful way because guru is your uh, vivek okay which which is like your wisdom so you will not do adharma in related to that house which means even if you are going through a divorce but jupiter is aspecting your seventh you will still be very cordial with your ex wife or ex husband and you will depending on the chart of course you will not speak badly about them and you will know that yes uh, that person did their best to be with me but somehow it didn't work okay but the biggest way that guru blesses somebody is through spiritual wisdom scriptural knowledge through the association of a bona fide guru because guru is the guru right <laughs> of course he can give you guides and counselors and teachers externally as i already said but even above that see the materialistic guru uh, teacher or counselor can help you manage the problem to some extent okay like a marriage counselor oh yeah marriage is not good do this do that appreciate your spouse you know be realistic be practical be this be that you know make peace with it, blah, 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 all this <laughs> but guru at a spiritual level can also give you tremendous guidance through the parmatma and through the spiritual community and a guru who is in the parampara bona fide guru shishya parampara the biggest 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 the end indicator of a good jupiter in your chart is do you have the association of a very great personality do you have the association of a paramahamsa a pure devotee of god a mahabhagavat do you have the association of such personality or personalities then you know your jupiter is he's exalted <laughs> even if he is in debility he is still exalted because of some reason there is something in the chart which is cancelling the debility and it's making it exalted and if your jupiter is very well placed externally uh, and you know you have no association of any great personality then hmm, jupiter is very badly smashed in the chart either there is a problem with ashtavarga or the navamsha or the nakshatra there is some crisis going on but then how is this a blessing yes this is indeed the greatest blessing because this will help you come above come above the problem itself the problem will not even matter to you anymore this is the greatest blessing there can be no greater blessing than this because then you realize that yes material world is a place of misery and you will not be happy in this material world beyond a certain extent everybody will have some severe crisis in their life you will see billionaires or even sometimes you know multi millionaires they are getting divorced they are unhappy they are in depression they have health problems you know they have this problem that problem you no know, so you will see that people who have a lot financially can have problems in their marriage people who have a good marriage they'll have problems in their career people who have good career good marriage they may have problems in having children or if you have children they may not have good children okay or they may have bad relationship with their parents or with their in-laws or their friends may stab them at their back you know so all sorts of problems can happen there could be accidents you know akal mrityu there could be black magic there could be you know like uh, defamation so many other things could be there okay but jupiter through spiritual wisdom gives you higher happiness because of which that 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 problem doesn't harass you beyond a certain extent this is the i mean this is the this is the ultimate blessing that jupiter can give you if jupiter has given this to you don't ask for anything else that's it 
Okay, so if Jupiter has not given, then you can pray to him. You can pray to Brihaspati, to Vyasdev, to your your Guru. You can pray to Lord Krishna to give this to you. Okay, otherwise you still have um, you still have some more potential for your Jupiter to bless you. But if Jupiter has given this to you, that's it. That's the end of the story. All right. This is how Jupiter blesses everyone. All right. Thank you so much for your patience. If you're new, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you like this, please hit the thumbs up to help the video spread. And for consultations, you can go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him irrespective of where your Jupiter is. Thank you.